Howdy ho everyone! Welcome back to the channel! Yes, I'm very chipper right now and I have no idea why, but I am. And I thought, why not film a haul video while I have the energy? <laughs> so here I am, yet again. Today is Tuesday, and I did do my usual uh, Salvation Army for Senior Tuesday and um, Goodwill, excuse me, for Senior Tuesday and Salvation Army. I found out today when I went to Salvation Army, they had 50% off everything in the store yesterday for Memorial Day, and I didn't know. I was distraught. How did I not know about a 50% off of everything? <sighs> Woe is me right now. But anyways, so I did go to both places today and got a lot of great stuff. Um, so not knowing exactly when this video will be uploaded, disregard like the days of the week or anything that I might mention because I'm sure that they will be off. <laughs> um, I'm trying to film these ahead of time, so to speak. So here we are. Now, before I get started on the haul video, I do wanna mention some new channels or newer channels. Um, I just wanna give a shout out to them and ask all of you to visit their channels, hit the subscribe button, leave them a comment um, and share their page. Um, I will leave all of these people's uh, channels in the description box for you. First person is my friend, Helen Booty. And her channel is called New England Thrifter. Next one is Vintage Digs. And her name is um, Gina, I believe. Um, Butterfly Nurse Thrift. Her name is Tony. Moon Goddess Treasures. And her name is Crystal. She does a lot of gorgeous jewelry. So if you are into jewelry, She's your gal. Um, she does dabble in other things as well, but I, I know that a lot of her stuff is jewelry. Um, there's Antiques from Karen. Uh, my friend Laura Simpson from just over the border there in Canada. Laura, she's funny as all get out. Um, I have a very, very old friend. Um, I've been watching her videos for probably three or four years now. Yes, it's Sophie. <laughs> um, she can't decide how she wants to lay, so she's just going to spaz out for a couple minutes. Um, I, I call her D, and the name of her channel is Living the Good Life. She finds the most amazing porcelain and I mean um, RS Prussia is what she collects herself. She doesn't resell. She buys for herself and she has she has shown her RS Prussia 
collection. Uh, I know she probably collects other things besides that, but that's her main collection um, as far as I know. And she does estate sales, yard sales, and let me tell you, and, and jewelry. She finds gorgeous sterling jewelry, regular jewelry, and like uh, silver um, utensils and stuff like that. You got to check her out. Living the good life. And um, the last one is my girl, Maria Ladybug. That is the name of her channel. Her name is Maria, and she is clear way over there in Sweden. And she has her own channel as well. So all of these people are into the thrifting in some way, shape, or form. That's why I really didn't get into a big description of most of them. So if you are into videos like mine, you are going to love these people. So as I said, I will leave the, their channels, the links in the description box. So show them some love, please. Okie dokie. Now, let me get rid of my cheat sheet because <laughs> I can't remember anything. Um, and we'll get on with this haul. Um, let me, I gotta have, some iced tea. I There is something in the air around here that is making my throat so dry like I swallowed cotton balls or something. It is ridiculous. Oh my word. Can we just be done with spring and get rid of all of this crap that's floating around in the air? Oh my lord. My neighbor's cutting his grass across the street. So you're going to hear the lawnmower. But you know what? Just part of life. You're going to hear sounds and whatever. All right. So um, I think I'm going to start with uh, Goodwill. Because last week I didn't get a whole heck of a lot from there, from the Goodwill. This week, that's a different story. But I only spent... $35. That's like unheard of for me at Goodwill. You know, I, I usually drop at least 80 bucks. Um, so it was $35 with the discount. So I, my total saved was $10.54. Woohoo! <laughs> so, let's see. I bought these and I love them and they had them all taped together uh, so I did not notice that this one has a chip a little chip on just on the rim but I love these amazing handled bowls this is like gay fad uh, grapes on there gay fad um, I don't know if this is, it's not marked Fire King and it's not marked Glass Bake. So I don't know who it is, but uh, it's, I love it. I have a lot of things uh, with the Gay Fad uh, painting on it. And then I also got this one. Now this one is plain and just has the, um, the ribbed pattern on there. And this one is Fire King. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can we just get some? There we go. Fire King. Now, they're like the same style bowl. They have the same handles and everything. So. And then I got this one, which I think this is glass bake. This one is a little larger and has a straight handle. And it has this pebbly bottom. And usually you find that. Um, on glass bake items with that textured um, bottom. And you know, the, this is in great condition. Um, like I said, the only one that's got the little, the little chip is right here. And that's the one with the grapes on it. But these are awesome for chili, um, soup. You, you can put whatever you want in them. You could put an ice cream sundae in there if you so wish which would be my preference, but, you know, that's a different story all in itself. So, let me set those over there. 
I love pottery and I like to find unusual pieces. Now this is signed and I really can't make it out. All I can tell you is that it starts with an L. Um, so I'm really not sure, but look at this gorgeous bowl. Now this would be my size bowl for ice cream, okay? It's about as big as my head and that's the perfect size far as I'm concerned. Um, there is the signature on the bottom. I know it's very hard to tell, but it is an L and I do not know what else. So if any of you know, if you recognize that signature, let me know. But look at this. Isn't this a gorgeous bowl? I absolutely love it. The colors are awesome. No cracks, no chips, great condition. So it just caught my eye and I just really like the color. So I picked that up. Um, I also picked up this little blown glass figurine here. So I'm hoping that I don't have stuff mixed up between the two places because I put them in the same big box, but I tried to separate, you know, Goodwill on one side of the box and Salve on the other side of the box. But that doesn't always work out. So, um, I got this little blown glass. It's a bird bath with two little birds perched on, on each side. It's just so pretty. I just couldn't leave it sit there. And it's in excellent condition. So, I got it. Very pretty. I love it. Another little tchotchke for someone. All right, that was still wrapped up, so let me put the paper over there. Okay, um, it's really funny. Um, if you recall, in my last um, couple of haul videos, the estate sale I went to was a friend of mine, and she um, had a huge collection of Princess House crystal. And it just so happened that I found this gorgeous set of Cruets and their princess house. And they are in excellent condition. There's the little stoppers. There's no cracks or chips or anything. And there is the label princess house. And they have these beautiful uh, etched flowers. I know it's kind of hard to see when it's clear glass, but they're, they're just beautiful. These are perfect for oil and vinegar. Actually, um, you could use these in the bathroom if you wanted to for like mouthwash and maybe like um, hand soap or whatever. I mean, bubble bath. They would be perfect um, to use for that as well. So I picked those up. I really liked those. And um, I got this. My daughter already has one. Hers is a little bit different. So this one will be for sale. It is this um, Winnie the Pooh. It's a bank. This is classic Pooh. Um, the only thing that's wrong with him is he doesn't have a stopper. Um, and he does have like a, where the color didn't take and they glazed over. It's like a little white. Uh, white spot, but it's not a chip. And he's in excellent condition. And you can see here it says Disney on the bottom. Uh, speaking of Disney, I found this guy and uh, he's going to my daughter. I showed, she saw it, she pulled it out of the box. Um, and it's this adorable Tigger. Look how stinking cute he is. Look at his tail. Boing. <laughs> and he's in excellent condition. So I grabbed him uh, for her. He, I love, I love the fabric. I just love it. So there's, there he is. And um, I usually will grab yarn at Goodwill when it's uh, like full skeins. And I got this bag of black and there are 
There are five full skeins and then a ball of uh, black yarn. Um, I don't think it's the same thickness, but it's this is Bolero yarn. And as you can see, there are five. It's chunky weight black. So I grabbed that. I'm going to put that down here. Uh, and the last thing, oh no, I got two more things. I got this for myself. I think that he is just adorable. And you can see he's made out of like, um, I don't know. It's like that grass stuff, but it's hard, you know, like, um, that, that grows on a grapevine. I don't know what it's called. But it's this adorable teddy bear flower pot holder, and it's got the plastic inner uh, so that the this doesn't get wet and get, you know, moldy or anything. And I just thought he was so cute, and I'm going to put him on my front porch. I already bought a plant to put in there, and I've been waiting to do the haul video so I could put the plant in there. But he is too stinking cute. I love him. So that is a me thing as well. And the last thing that I got, I just washed it so it's uh, there's some condensation on the inside. But I got this beautiful little nightstand water carafe with the matching glass that fits right on the top. And I love the hand-painted flowers. And it's made by Libby. Uh, you'll see the L on the bottom there, maybe. Um, tr there you go. There it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a beautiful little um, water pitcher. And that was everything. Oh, no, I lied. I forgot. I had to put stuff over here because I didn't have room on the table. And there's something sitting here right in front of my eyeballs as well. And, of course, it has the tape on here. Let me get this tape off if I can without tearing stuff. All right. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. All right. Oh dear, it's been a very long day. I've been on the go since nine o'clock this morning and it is now, oh, eight o'clock. Um, okay, I got, this is a Jonathan Adler for party light. Brand new in the box. It just doesn't have the top of the box. And it is this set of candles and these are animal print. So this one is a giraffe. Once the candle is lit, you'll be able to see it. But it comes with the candles as well. So we have the giraffe. Get in there. We have the snake skin. And we have zebra. Can you see that? And like I said, they all come with the brand new candles. Um, I should get one of my candles and light it up in here and see how it looks. Let me grab a candle. Oh, these are cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. Let's look at the other ones. Oh my God, I'm too excited. I'm like a little kid. Hold on. Let's take this candle out and put it in here. OMG. Oh, oh, that is awesome. Okay, now let's check out the zebra one. Woohoo, this is so cool. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh my God, these are awesome. I love these. Oh my goodness, these are fantastic. Love them. Oh boy. Yeah. 
what a difference a little candle light makes to something. You know what I mean? It's like amazing. All right, let me just put these back in the box because I don't want them to get broken or anything. Look at those. Those were fabulous. How exciting. I loved those. All right, let me put, there we go. We'll lay Tigger on there. All righty. Um, two more things from Goodwill. I got this picture because I love it. I love the beach. The beach is my happy place. When I go to Florida, um, I always at least have to go to the beach once or twice while I'm there. Um, and I got this picture. I just love it. And I mean, I, it's very, very pretty. It's, you can't see the colors really very well, but it's, it's so, so pretty. And I actually have a little area in my eBay room, um, just one little area of wall where I have like beach stuff. So if I, if I don't sell this and I keep it, it will go in my, in my room with my other, my other beach items. And the last thing that I got is I found, this is a really nice, big, um, perfume tray. Hang on, guys. I just want to get the sticker off. Um, this one is uh, a lot bigger than they usually are, uh, which is nice. I, I prefer the larger ones to the, to the smaller ones. You can fit more on them. Okay, there we go. It just, if it was on the back, it wouldn't matter, but... Look at the size of this. This is a nice size. And you know what? It's in really good condition. It's in great condition. I love the detailing. And this is the back. Now, the back has seen better days. You know, like the felt is coming off and everything. But who gives a crap? You're not going to see the bottom. You're not going to see the bottom. If you're the type of person that's like, well, I know it's there. So, I, you know, no, that that's okay, fine. But if you're like me and you don't give a crap, then it's perfect. <laughs> I love it. That's got to be like, I don't know, 18 inches, I would say, long. 16 inches, 18 inches, or thereabouts. I didn't bring my my uh, my ruler out. So, um, so that's not bad. I mean, $35 for all of that, I thought was great. So, I was very happy with my, my trip on that day. Um, now... Moving on to the Salvation Army. Boy, are those, their prices, if they get anything in there that is true vintage, the prices are up there. It's ridiculous. Sorry, I got something in my eye. Um, the prices are ridiculous. So I, unless it's something that I really, really have to have, um, I'll leave it and I'll and I'll wait until it goes half price. If it's still there when it's half price, great, then I'll grab it. If not, it's staying there because I'm not paying inflated prices for a vintage item. Um it's it's not worth it for resale. If I was buying it for myself, it's a different story, you know, but for resale, no. Mm -mm. So, Salvation Army. I did find some great stuff, though. Uh, I spent $69.71 at the Salvation Army. Um, 
So blue was 50% off. Um, it's not saying the color right up there. I don't know. I cannot remember what I did yesterday, let alone remember what colors were on sale two weeks ago. But anyways, so let me start with these adorable home co. Little puppies. <laughs> Look how cute they are. They are adorable and they are in perfect condition. They're a little dirty. They do need to be, you know, wiped down a little bit, but they are home co. So I got the set of two of the little puppies. I did have a set of two of these. These were Avon. And when I was standing outside wrapping them, I dropped one in the parking lot and smashed it to smithereens. Because he did have a little partner. Look, he's giving the old side eye. She was supposed to be sitting over here, but no, nope, she went in the garbage, unfortunately. I was so mad. But yes, this is Avon. I don't see a date. Yep, I was pretty, pretty PO'd, gotta say. These are home call too, and I absolutely love these. And I, I just, I'm gonna have a hard time like selling them. <laughs> um, but it's this pair of little birdies. This is just dirt, I have to wash these. But look at the coloring on them. They are so pretty. You can hear my neighbor Rick over there laughing. Home co. I love these. They're so chunky. Look at them. Oh my goodness. They look like little uh, chickadees. They're so cute. Um, I got this. Um, I may sell it. I may not. I, I'm not sure yet, but it is Peter Rabbit, and it is a child's uh, plate, bowl, and cup, and it's Wedgwood. There's the Wedgwood on the back, um, and then here's the cup. got the beginning story of Peter Rabbit. <laughs> and then we have the bowl. I didn't wash these yet. Uh, it says, then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread. So I thought this was a really pretty little set. Um, and I did pay up for it. I can't remember. I think I paid, you're not going to believe it, but I paid $12.99 for this set. With the intentions of, I was planning on maybe keeping it and putting, away, putting it away. Because I wouldn't have paid $12.99 if I was going to resell it. So I'm probably going to keep it. Um, depending on eBay, if they sell for a decent price on eBay and I don't want to keep it, then I'll list it on eBay. $12.99. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Let me just look on here right quick. Uh, Okay, how come I don't see it on here? Did I not get it at Salvation Army? Because I don't see it on here, unless it was half price. But I don't think so. I, I do not think so at all. Um, maybe this was, no, this was Salvation Army. I don't know. 
Okay, then I got this gorgeous uh, creamer and sugar. This is made in Japan, and it is this beautiful. Look at how pretty. Look at it's got the little hints of blue for the water. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's no cracks or chips or anything. It is uh, West Westwood. Here's the lid. It does have crazing. It does have crazing, which I don't know if you can see, but it does have crazing. But no cracks and no chips. So I picked those up. You might be able to see the crazing on this side. See that? I love, love, love this little vase. This is Bavaria. Um, Schumann Arsberg, Germany. Look at this little vase. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I just love it. I think it is so beautiful. It's a little bud vase. <laughs> so pretty. Um, I bought this candle for myself. I love the smell of pear, and that's what this candle is. So, Oh, my God, that smells so good. It was only, I think it was on sale. Blue was 50% off, so I paid a dollar for this big, huge candle, and it was only hardly burned at all. So my, my lilac one is almost done, so then I'm going to start burning this one. Ow! There goes that wrist again. Um, spiced pear crisp is the, the scent. Ow, I don't know. I did it again. Um, okay, maybe it was this that I spent $12.99. I don't know. Um, this is gorgeous. It is Arthur Wood. Beautiful teapot. It does have a little bit of paint wear right here on the handle. Of course it would because that's where you would be holding it to pour the tea. Um, this is the, the other side. And there is the... Look how pretty this is. It does have crazing, but no cracks and no chips. And it is Sadler. Um, made in England. No, it's Haddon. It's Haddon, not Sadler. Sadler, I don't know. I did buy one that was Sadler, but maybe it's not in here. I Oh, no. They're all running together. Holy cow. Here's another teapot. I actually sold one exactly like this not long ago in a live sale. And this one is in excellent condition. Piece of sticker still on there. Get that off. Um, it is this beautiful... Uh, one with the, it, it looks like a basket on the bottom and the handle. And then it has all these beautiful little violets. And I just think it is so pretty. Look at the top. Um, there's no cracks, no chips. Perfect condition. Hey, Fritz. So I got I had to get that again because I just think it's gorgeous. Now it has right here, it has, and it's both in the same spot. It has like dull spots on both sides. Where like the glaze didn't 
adhere or something. Um, so I think that's like a, a manufacturing defect or whatever, but uh, yeah, I had to grab it again because it's in really fantastic condition. The other one I bought had some little chipping on uh, like leaves and flowers, which I touched up with watercolors. But this one is perfect. So we got that. OMG. All right. I'm telling you, I've been finding some gorgeous clear glass vases. This one still has sticker on it. Um, this is a gorgeous stretch vase. Look at this vase. Whew. Look at, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous vase. Oh my word. There's the bottom. It kind of goes up. You can see. But I mean, isn't that a beauty? That's a big one. Oh, I love it. Love that one. And then I got this one. This one uh, almost reminds me of the daisy and button pattern. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at look at the way when the the light hits this glass, it's like prisms. It's so gorgeous. About this tall. Look how pretty. Just beautiful. I can't believe the, the pretty, you know, clear glass that I have been finding. Um, I got this cream and sugar set. This is, um, what you call it? <laughs> trying to get the sticker shrapnel off the bottom. Uh, this is a uh, longer burger. This is a longer burger creamer and sugar set. And it's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chippies. Very simple, very, very pretty. Um, let me show you the bottom. It is uh, dishwasher safe, longa burger. Wait a minute, do I have that upside down? Where the heck is it? Oh, Longa Burger is right here. <laughs> so I definitely was picking that set up. I have to wash this. Now this is a federal glass piece. I have never seen this pattern or this particular bottom. This is a loaf pan. Now, if that's not mid-century modern, I don't know what the heck it is. But look at the bottom. There is the federal. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see it. The F in the shield. I don't know. I know you can't make that out. But I've never seen one with the bottom like that. Now, it's in really good condition. It does have some, some like little flea bites. See them right here? I don't know what the heck happened there. And there is another one. There's a couple other ones on the other handle. But the rest of the dish is in fantastic condition. I mean, there's no paint loss or anything on either side. Ah. So I grabbed that. I think that's a great piece right there. For sure. For sure. All right. Uh, I got this. This is so cute. This is made in Japan. Would you just look at this little guy? How cute is he? Now... I don't exactly know what you would put in his little 
pots here because, you know, there's no bottom. Like it goes all the way down and then there's a hole in the bottom. So I'm not quite sure what you would put in these little doohickeys. If you put toothpicks in there, they're just going to fall out. Um, unless you wanted to put like small utensils, like little, you know, spoons or something, or air plants, or, you know, cashews, <laughs> whatever you would like. But he is in excellent condition. There's his little mark on the bottom. He is too cute. Um, this I got, I'm not sure... I took the screws out of this on the bottom because I thought that batteries or something went in here, but actually it's keeping this thing that's on the inside stationary. Um, but it is a Department 56 piece and it's this little, it's a little bee. He's a snow baby and he's a bee and He's got these little bees. <laughs> Look how cute he is. So he attaches um, inside here, but I believe, I believe he screws on, but I couldn't get it to screw on tight. But I thought still, even if you just wanted to glue him, glue him on there he would make an adorable piece for people that um like collect things with bees um i believe my friend um not joanne baber um teresa i believe um teresa that just started her channel teresa bryant no tree i don't know anyways i think she collects little bee bee things so, I just thought it was really cute. And then I got this. Um, I got this because I thought, you know, I don't know if, what these would go for on uh, eBay. But I thought I would get it anyways and maybe just put it away. But it is Dr. Seuss Preschool Learning System, ages 3 to 5. And it's got two CDs and a DVD in here. And I checked it out and they're in excellent condition. There's no scratching on them or anything. And we all know that there's all kinds of issues with Dr. Seuss. Oh Lord, don't get me started. But anyways, um, so I picked it up. I thought it would be a good buy. So there's that. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Um, I got some clothes, but I did buy, these are awesome. Um, an old fashioned Christmas. Look at this, Reader's Digest. Oh my word, the cover alone was worth buying the records. But there, it's a, a box set if I could get it out. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Five records, I believe. And there's just a massive quantity of every Christmas song you could think of on here. And these records are in fantastic condition. Let me show you. Look at the condition of these records. Those are, excuse me, I just had a hiccup. Fingerprints. Um, but, I mean, I can't believe the condition. And they're all like that, as far as I know. I didn't, like, check all of them out in the store. But, yeah, there's, oh, there's actually six records. Holy cow. And they're all, look at that. That was a hair. 
They're in amazing condition. So, I mean, oh my gosh, it would take me an hour to name all the, the songs on these records. So, you guys, I'm telling you, there's like every Christmas song imaginable um, on this set of records. Now I can't get them back in. <laughs> get in there. There we go. So, uh, there's a dollar stick around here. Somebody must have had them at their, um, ow at their yard sale <laughs> so there's those and then oh my gosh this is awesome look at this sentimental journey look at that cover oh my goodness this has look at <laughs> it has uh, five records to the, no, six records in the whole set. And it has all kinds of amazing older, you know, songs like That's Amore, um, Tangerine, um, Blue Orchids, Moon Love, Mona Lisa, uh, Stella by Starlight, White Hearts Are Singing, Breakfast at Tiffany's, I Wish I Didn't Love You So, With the Wind and the Rain in Your Hair, oh my goodness. And these are in really fantastic condition too. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow. That's the only time I will buy records is if they are in, like, really great condition. Um, so, I, I, had to, I had to grab these. Awesome. So. All right. Now, I just grabbed a few things for myself. I got myself the boots. I love these kind of boots to wear with my leggings and these are in fantastic condition so I got those I don't remember how much they were I found this beautiful handmade little baby sweater look it look how cute that would be toddler age probably like for a you know a one and a half to two year old <laughs> so pretty look at so I picked that up excellent condition I got myself this black sweater because the one I have I've I've just like worn holes in it um it was from Old Navy like I can't tell you how many years ago I bought it so I got this one for myself it's not Oh, that's just a string. It's so nice and soft, and it's long, and it has pockets, and I love it. And I think it was half price. I'm not sure. But even $5.99 is a great price for a nice sweater like that. I mean, it's long. It probably goes down to my knees, I would say. And I grabbed a couple summer dresses. I got this one. Speaking of, oh no, this is Max Studio. This was, yeah, pink tags were half price, so I only paid $3.50 for this one. It's just a real cute um, A-line little summer dress. Anything that's nice and loose is my friend. <laughs> Until I lose some of this weight. And then I got this beautiful, this one's um a little bit longer. This one is um, like calf length and it's just this really pretty, um, like a uh, rainforest, I want to call it. You know, with like palm, palm tree leaves and just like an abstract design. And I just 
I just thought it was really pretty for summer. So I got that. And that is it finally, guys. I got a lot of stuff. Holy cow. This is another hour long video for crying out loud. Oh my goodness. I try to keep them shorter, but then, you know, I'd be putting out a video every single day. <sighs> wow. So, <laughs> everybody, that will do it for yet another haul video. Um, I have another video that's going to be coming out. And it'll probably be out before you even see this one. But it's, uh, it's a haul video from Fuller's. So um, look for that. Uh, yeah. So thanks everybody for watching and sticking with me. And don't forget to check out all of the, uh, the new channels that I uh, mentioned in this video. And um, like I said, all the links for their channels will be in the description box below. So go and show them some love. All right, everybody, take care, and uh, I'll be back again and again and again. <laughs> All right, guys, until the next one, take care. Bye for now.